Good morning, y'all, and welcome back to another episode. It's a beautiful morning here in Florida. I've got three dozen shrimp, and I bought some DOA plastic bait, <clears throat> artificial bait. Once I run out of the shrimp, I'm thinking I'll just tie one of those on. Holy crap, something big just hit right over there. What the heck? Anyways, I'm just gonna just fish and see whatever I can catch. Because every time I try to get a target something, it seems like I fail. <laughs> so at least today I'm switching over to salt water. It seems like the past couple trips in the fresh water, I haven't, I've been striking out pretty bad. So, so we're gonna try my luck today. It's a beautiful day. It is 72 degrees right now. I'm sure it's gonna warm up here pretty fast, but we're gonna get out there on the water and see what is biting. All right, let's get out there. All right, got a cooler. I got a soft cooler, got my dry box, got my knife, got my keys, got batteries for the GoPro, wallet, phone, lures, paddles, water, shrimp, net, pole. I think I'm good to go. <clears throat> All right, let's see. See how our luck is today. Oh, the water's nice and cold. All right. Ah, the wind's already picked up. It's crazy. Dude, something big hit right here. So, kind of just want to. I see. I see pelicans diving over there. Oh, we're gonna encounter some humans today. See, there it goes again. There's something biting right there. Not the rattle trap on it, whatever it is. There is something biting right there, man. Quickly! It's insanity. I'm gonna see what happens when I tie on a. That's something nice right there too. Come on, man. Something pretty decent. There's something eating right there, dude. I think it might be a, I don't know. What are you saying? Oh. Pretty decent trim. All right, let's see what happens. All right, wish me luck, wish me luck. If you do not want this shrimp, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, gonna hit. There he is. Oh, I think it's just a snook. Like a little snook. I don't even have to go anywhere. They're right here.
can't believe this. The snook are on fire this year for me. Well, it's a little snook. First fish of the day. <clears throat> That's what's biting up there, a little snook. There's a big one up there though. I see them, they're just biting up there like crazy. See if this will draw them out more. Cause they might. I hope that don't break. Oh yeah, that popcorn's gonna do some work. Oh, look at that. There's just bait hanging up in there. Right up in there, right where I came out at. Come on, fish. There was a big one up in here hitting, I'm telling you. Big sum. Oh, got some. Look, like another little snook. Yep. Oh, that's a little snook. Jeez Louise. Tore his lip out. All right, y'all, making a move. Uh, just had a fleet of kayaks come up on me where I was fishing. I mean, it's right there at the canoe launch, but uh, God, man. I think there was a big old snook hitting in there. Oh, well. Are you kidding me? That didn't take long. That feels like that might be a trout. Come on, trout. Oh, it's a freaking trout, bro. I can't believe it. That might be a keeper, too. Get in here. I got a trout. Oh. I can't believe it, dude. That's lucky. That's awesome. This is what. This is what I wanted. <laughs> I can't believe it. Dude, right when I paddled up here. All right. I think they only gotta be 15. Dude, no way. Oh, that smell smells familiar. Dude, there's trout all around here, I think. He's 15 and a half, almost 16. He's 16. 16 inch trout. I had a paddle for it, but I got him. Here's 
start running with it already, it looks like. There it goes. I don't, I don't know if it's a trout or not. Huh? Catfish. Catfish. I'm gonna take them off. Listen to the noises he's making. Uh, uh. Keep stealing my bait. I saw something hit right up there. It's out of the wind. Damn, there's something on. I didn't even know I had something. What the heck is that? I think it's another trout. Oh, little snook. I saw something big up here hit. I know I did. I didn't even know he was on there. Get up there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, it's something nice. Oh, that was something nice. Where am I? I don't know what's going on, folks. Can't seem to hook these fishes. Oh, look, look. Oh, what is that? That feels good, whatever it is. You are not coming off, whatever you are. Oh, it's a big old. Yeah, that's a. It's a redfish. Can't keep him. Maybe that's what it's been. You can't even keep a redfish. That's the Grand Slam. I caught the redfish, the snook, and the trout. So there's redfish up in here. They're not huge, but there's redfish. So that's what it's been. So we can do that again. That's awesome. That's what I saw hitting up here. Hitting up here. Redfish. Yep. Sure, sure as can be, there is a school of reds up there. I have to cut this one. A lot of action on redfish. There's gotta be a big one in here. A bigger one. Oh, look at this one. It's got some spots. It's got two spots and three. Cool. Ow, ow. It's 
Got some gill plates on. Tearing them up. Some small. Really? Mangrove snapper. I think he's too small. They gotta be 10. He looks like he's nothing. Mangro. Phew. Gotta get out of this kayak and take a break. Take, get my, get my behind a break. Oh, my legs. Phew. This is where I caught that trout, right out here. Crazy. All right, I'm gonna stretch my legs and, oh, there's a fishing pole. Stretch my legs out for a minute and see if I see anything biting anywhere. This island looks different again. What happened? It's so crazy. All right, folks, stay tuned. Oh, I think I'm getting pretty low on shrimp. Ooh. fight to it, whatever it is. That's another trout. No, catfish. No? What is that? It's a freaking redfish. I just caught another redfish. Ain't no keeper, but I can't believe that. Freaking tearing up the redfish today. Maybe they're making a comeback. <laughs> Do a proper release for you folks. He's gonna splash. It's probably like at least four, four or five little redfish. I had a couple nice ones hung over there in the mangroves, but they pulled out. There's a stingray hanging out over there. I'm gonna see if I can make a spear and spear them. Shouldn't take too, too much. Take me a minute, but. I don't think I brought a better knife than this. This might turn into a stingray catch cook. I've been wanting to cook one over the fire. All right, this is my spear. This is supposed to act as barbs. This will get them. It's freaking sharp. I just gotta find them now. He was right. Now that I'm gonna look for him, I'm not gonna find him. Dude, he was just hanging out right here. I wonder if I put like a shrimp out or something. Got something on. I don't know what it is. Keeping my eye out for a stingray. What is this? Catfish? Nope, that ain't no cat. Oh, oh I think it was another trout. 
You gotta be kidding me. I think I was another trout. Oh, man. I think I was definitely a trout. Dang it. Oh, man. Nope. Another redfish, man. Dude, I am just catching redfish left and right. I just can't keep none of them. Maybe that, that's what that other fish was. Oh, he inhaled it too. Two spot. There it goes. There's a stingray. <laughs> just missed a stingray. Damn it. Just couldn't see him that good. Man. He went big. I missed him. What was that? Uh oh. We got something. Oh, that's not nice. Whoa. coming up the shore like that. Is that a shark? Today's just an action-packed kind of day, man. Holy crap. What is this thing? Jack. It's a Jack Crevail. Pretty good size one too. Check them out. So, great fish. Be cool to do a, a painting of him. But for now, he gets to live. Man, I'm just killing the fish, man. This is awesome. Oh, you can hear him grunt. Alright, ready? Go! Here you go. I've been out here for a while now. I've been fixated on spearing a stingray. I saw one stingray and I've been like trying to get after him. He's not showing back up. I think I might go back to mainland and try to cook up this trout. Can't complain. It's been a really awesome day. It's real pretty out. The wind's kind of blowing. I don't know if you can hear me right now, but I think the wind picked up a little bit more. So, I'm getting pretty hungry, and I think, I think I'm going to start heading back in. The way the wind's looking, it's going to be a pretty quick ride. You can see the white caps all out here. Alright, so cook some, cook some lunch. I got a stingray. I can't believe it. I've been looking for hours for this thing. I got him. Just stay. I got a stingray and cook over the fire. Oh my gosh. There's a crab. Oh my god, I can't believe I got him. All right, gotta figure out where his head is. It's all murky right here. I can't believe he stopped. 
where his head's right here. Look, oh, he's still moving. Oh god. Got him pretty good, I think. Sick. We got a stingray. I gotta put him out of his misery. That thing got caught up in the net, and I can't believe that. Oh, there's the stinger. You can make a... It's got barbs on it. You can make like a little arrow out of that thing. We need to put this somewhere. Nobody will never step on it. And I hope nobody steps on that smorgasport man hope you can't sting me no more It looks like a face, it's so weird. Stingrays are... I guess they are related to the shark family. All right, I'm gonna put them on ice. All right, let's get back to mainland and Start cooking these bad boys. I'm starving. Oh, let's get out of here. White capping. We're safe. Alright, we're gonna get loaded up and try to figure out a good spot to cook this stingray over the fire. Let's go find a place to cook this stingray. All this dead stuff. Some really cool spots in the mangroves. It only seems to fit for a uh, Cooking a stingray over open fire. Get my fire started. I just brought some lighter knot from my house. Lighter wood, it's called fat wood or whatever. It just uh, makes the fire real easy. It's very flammable. And then I've got some oak that I split. I think it's a laurel oak. Is that laurel oak? I call it swamp oak. It grows in the swamp a lot. I just gotta take that, take that stingray out and clean it. I'll clean it right next to the water right here. The 
It's all slimy now. Let's see if I can find a spot to do this. Stinger anymore. Where's that liver? There it is, right there, I think. Look at that. Right on top. So, this is the part you keep the prize jewel. Get it out of there, golly. I think that's plenty of liver. I love it. Check that out, man. This is crazy. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever gutted one. I've always cut the wings off. So this is pretty cool. Do you have to say? What you think, man? Okay, go ahead. All right. Oh, come on, baby. Stay. We'll have some coals pretty soon. Ready, bullet? Let's try this out. Oh, baby. oh my god, look at that. Look at it. Ooh, it's hot, baby. I can't wait. Well, the, the charcoal is still going on the sucker. Use. Why is there? Oh, here we go. Here's the meat right here. This is the part you want. Look at that. I'm gonna 
God, look at that. That's some meat right there. Oh, it's hot. All right, so now you take this liver and you just smash it up with it. I'll save some of that for later. Like initially it tastes like crab to me and then uh it's got its own flavor it's that's good i wouldn't knock it dude i really like that i'll do that again if i'm camping that's awesome that is so good Gosh, I can't believe that. If you ain't ever tried that, you gotta try it. It's it's fun, and uh, it really does feel like you, it reconnects you to, you know, what it used to be. And honestly, you can't it can't get no better than this. But uh, I mean, just a beautiful day. So blessed, so blessed, man. Uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. Say what's up in the comments if you like the episode, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.